Hello YouTube and welcome to another episode of Let's Learn the Mods. Today we're going to be learning about the Coke Oven from Railcraft. Uh, this is a really nice item because it converts um, coal, coal into cold coke, which um, creates more EU or um, essentially any energy unit or um, burnable type of fuel. As you can see, like for this alone, um, it's 72k EU per tick, whereas this is only 40k EU. Um, a very, very, very nice um, for such a free thing. All you really need is clay and sand to make this. Um, so we take our coke oven bricks, we build them like this. There we go. And this thing is also used to create creosote oil. Um, creosote oil is used in railcraft to, um, to actually make rails. Um, and this is how you get creosote oil. Alright, so down here I have a few ways to automate it. Um, for example, we have an ME system here. Now this has extra cells, so I'm also, um, I also am using fluid buses right here. So as you can see, we got uh, a fluid import bus. This will import any fluid that's created. We have an export bus here, which um, takes the blocks of cold coke and is active with a redstone signal and moves stacks at a time. We then have this over here that says, hey, if there's not 64 blocks of cold coke in um, the ME system, emit a redstone signal, which will basically turn on the export bus. And then we have an import bus to just take everything out that's produced um, in terms of solid. All right. Over here, we have a really, really archaic way to um, to do this. Essentially, the chest drops everything that's in it into the hopper, um, and then it goes from there into the um, into the cold coke oven. And here we have um, just a basic wooden fluid pipe, which is not even facing the right direction, uh, extracting um, into the resonant portable tank. That'll that's where the creosote oil will go. Um, and here we just have it extracting any blocks of cold coke that um, would come out. Over here we have um, kind of a similar fashion, only it's a little more automated. Um, I don't have it set to extract anything because you already see that over there. Um, basically this is a um, iron AND gate. All I really need was to say, hey, if there's space in the inventory, emit a redstone um, pipe signal. And in here I just have an um, auto arcade gate which says uh, which says if there's a red pipe signal um, in an energy pulsar, and this will just extract everything from the thing as needed. All right, moving on. Over here we have um, an item duct um, system. Basically, it'll um, remove the coal as needed, um, and then and then after it's done producing, it'll remove the stuff and put them into here. And you can blacklist if you want to, but this thing is pretty smart about doing um, doing the job. So that that works. All right. And over here we have a logistics pipe system. Uh, essentially the same thing, only this is uh, pretty intelligent as well. Um, down here I have a logistics chassis MK1 polymorphic item sync, which says, hey, if this isn't a chest, send them here. So it, it knows where to go. You can also use a basic logistics pipe to have, um, to have it as a default route or whatever, whatever your system needs. And I just have a basic logistics pipe hooked over here to provide power. Um, one here to uh, to be the junction, um, so it can still talk with each other, and then we have a provider logistics pipe, which means this can provide it to the system um, when requested. And here we have um, a supplier pipe, which says, "Hey, keep this supplied whenever you get the chance." Um, and then we have here a logistics chassis MK1, which is has an extractor module. Uh, that'll just basically remove anything that's produced after it's done. So that's the basics of um, of the cold coke ovens and um, how to automate them. If you liked the video, please um, leave a comment, like, subscribe, um, let the ads run. They they help the YouTubers out. It it means a lot if you let that ads run. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all later.